I just I think it's beautiful and it's sort of like a rare thing. Yeah, I just feel comfortable like this is what I was meant to do. But I also don't favor performing that much more than like dancing in class. Like I've had moments dancing in class, you know, usually like I like going across the floor a lot and like big waltzes and stuff like that. That I'm like have moments of clarity and that it's like wow, this is amazing. I feel so happy, this is what I'm supposed to do, and I feel that in class a lot, not just on stage, so, but also on stage too, and on stage you get to share it with other people, and um, I like being able to, you know, maybe open someone else's eyes to what I do, and how beautiful it can be. For me, there's a huge sense of um, connection to the music. Everything is so timed and hearing the music and trying to express the music. Um, but then there's a real, again for me, a real athleticism to it. But then there's that artistry and that's something that's sort of undefinable about it that um, is what um, separates, I think, good dancers from great dancers is when they tap into that sort of magical aspect of it. I mean, I think if you're serious about ballet, it very quickly you have to devote a lot of hours to it. You know, if you, if you actually look at it and you say, well, this is what the average high school person is doing, and this is what Caroline's doing, and this is what Elizabeth did, it can be really startling how different they are. I have assumed that I won't, you know, stay in my hometown through high school. I probably won't graduate, you know, from Mount Era with my class, anything like that, so. I sometimes think that I would like to do that or that I would like to, you know, just live normally, but then, you know, I dance and I'm like, no, that's fine. I, I can give up things. I think it was always a, it was always a question, um, what would my life be like? And it's so hard some days. Some days it's very hard to, um, to, to work so much. And you see other people who are, not doing that and, um, and you wondered would that be more satisfying. You know Caroline's only 15 but she's already starting this legacy here. Um, that, that's why when we're joking about before Caroline and after Caroline I think that you will see that. That, um, that these dancers are influenced from the dancers that came before and we've got this you know fantastic girl from Bodenham um, that's going and doing what so many people dream about. Like Elizabeth sort of lived like my dream as like a girl from a small town <laughs> who went to SAB and who you know with dance with New York City Ballet so then as I got older and understood more of what ballet was and what it meant to me I was like wow like, she is like who I aspire to be like and I think she's the best dancer or best teacher for me to have. <laughs>